Hello, uh, I want to show you guys some masks that my lovely wife has made. These are the soccer ball version of masks she's making here. It has four straps. So she's done a wonderful job designing these. There's the inside. The problem we've been having with the masks and the biggest technical hurdle has been the wire that's in this mask. We're trying to find a material that not only is the right amount of flexibility, but also something that is going to be anti-rust and uh, not rust after it's repeated washing because these masks can be washed. So here are the various materials we've tried to use for the stiffener in the nose portion. Here we have two types of uh, steel baling wire. There's one that's fairly thin, really bendable. We had to uh, double or triple this to get it to be even uh, stiff enough to hold its shape. Here we have another type of baiting wire and this is really stiff and it's also steel so it's going to rust. Uh, also on Amazon you order this um, green uh, crafting floral stem wire. This is 18 gauge and when you take one of these out you can bend it. The problem is that uh, at the end of it is steel and it would rust on the end and plus when you try to twist it around at the end to prevent it from poking through the mask you end up with a flat area there so that when you bend it around the mask it can be offset and not not the greatest and also also pretty stiff 18 gauge this 18 gauge wire is fairly stiff and hard to bend around the mask uh, nose piece so I went out to my garage and I had some aluminum, 17 gauge aluminum uh, electric fence wire. And this electric fence wire is uh, really cool. Comes in a spool. This is a 250 foot uh, spool. And then we can cut off approximately five and a half inches of that. And when we do so, we cut off five and a half inches of that, which is about right there. This is going to allow me to have a anti-rust nose piece for the mask that's about the right flexibility. This is stiff now, but aluminum is uh, a little more malleable than steel and we can actually pound it into a flat shape, which we're going to go and do now. So now I'm out in the garage uh, next to my vise that has a small anvil section here. And we want to make sure our wire is very straight. We don't want a lot of curves in it. There's a little bend in it, so I'm going to take that out. And this is approximately five and a half inches long. And then what I'm going to do is take my mallet and strike it a few times so we flatten it. So here we go. We're going to make a little bit of noise here. And you can see as I'm doing this, it's becoming a little flatter. You may be able to see that. And what this does, this fairly malleable aluminum, produces now a piece that is flatter and it's the perfect bendability for the mask. So here's the piece of 17 gauge aluminum wire before it was uh, pounded in shape with my sledgehammer on the anvil. And here's what's happened when you flatten it out. You can see it's flatter. It's also very thin now. And it bends much better than it did before to make the perfect nose piece for my lovely wife's face masks. And the final touch that I do on this little uh, 17 gauge aluminum wire that I pounded flat is I'll take an needle nose pliers and I'll bend over the end and crimp it so that there's no sharp edges that could poke through the fabric of the mask. So now we have the perfect nose piece for the mask that won't rust, will last as long as the uh, mask will last, and is very bendable, very easy to bend and contour around the nose piece of the mask 
or produce a tight fit around the nose, which helps reduce fogging of glasses and also helps reduce any entry of particles into your mask or, or outside your mask when you exhale. This uh, roll of 17 gauge aluminum uh, electric fence wire is very easy to find. You get at the hardware store or on Amazon and it should be able to make you some nice nose pieces that won't rust over time. All right, have fun and stay safe.